I'm really excited about the film being selected for the African Film Festival in New York because it was actually an invitation. So I think it speaks to the hard work of the cast and the crew. I find um, locally different things resonate than internationally because I've had the privilege of watching it both at home and internationally. But I think it's testament to a true human story. Whenever you tell the most human and the most honest story to you, it somehow always becomes um, universal. So I think it's a human story. It's about power um, at its core and the pushback against power and oppression. So I think that resonates with a lot of people, particularly black people or anybody who feels that they are in any way um, oppressed. The arts industry needs support literally from grade zero um, because I was just speaking to one of the guys on set just now that there is a huge part of the education element um, that's missing. So from the beginning when you're young um, and you understand the value of it in society as well, um, and you know, when, when we become storytellers and filmmakers, the most important thing is to keep making films. For you to keep making better films and to understand what's working and what's not working is to keep making films and that needs a lot of money. And then the other thing is once you've made your film, you also need, say your film is two million, you need another two million to kind of market it, PR and, and that sort of thing. The biggest thing I would say uh, in terms of support is financial support and it's education. Um, I think, you know, once we've got a strong team of collaborators, we'll even be able to sort of come up with solutions for the financial aspect of it. I have so many stories I still want to tell. I'm busy writing scripts as we speak. Um, whenever somebody says, do you have a project that you're working on? It's always yes, uh, because whenever I'm not doing anything, I write a script. Even when I am working in between, I'll write something. So I've got loads of stories that I still want to tell. In terms of filmmaking, one of my favorite uh, directors is Pedro Almodovar. I like the way he speaks about women in his stories and you know, he's, got, he's just got such a way of telling women's stories that is so right, if, if that's such a word, you know. And then of course I love Sembene, um, an African giant. I love Mambeti, another African giant. Um, I love the courage and the guts of, of Mambeti's work. Um, I love how in present day in some of the uh, pop music videos and stuff you can see a huge influence of Sembene's work. Um, and then in terms of literature, I love Ben Okri, the Nigerian um, author. Some of my favorite stories are written by him. Um, and Toni Morrison, I think, is an absolute genius. I always wonder what she would have written about the time we're in now. As an artist, already when you're telling stories that matter to you or stories that you feel compelled to tell, you're already reflecting the times. Um, I think whenever we look back retrospectively at whatever was created, whether it's in literature, photography, or film, music, you can always say, okay, in this decade, this is what the major topics were, or the tone of the storytelling, or a style may be born. So in a way, whether we like it or not, to a greater extent, we're always reflecting the times. I think the problem comes when you're copying um, I think when, when you try to do what so-and-so did, maybe then you might not reflect the time. Um, but yeah, I think we're always reflecting the times, whether it's a reflection of us ignoring and avoiding the necessary topics or whether they, they are coming forth overtly. I, I am a storyteller and I have a reason why I want to be a storyteller. How that story gets told is going to happen you know, the be in the best medium that that particular story needs to be told in. I'm fortunate to have a particular set of talents uh, which are multidisciplinary and I draw on, what, on whatever needs, um, on whatever has the best tools to tell the story that I want to tell at that particular time. I do believe in school. Um, I believe strongly in mentorship. I believe in, I, I think we've got a, a whole pool of resources that we used to create. There's our intuition, there's the theory that we learned um, to fall back on when your intuition isn't on. Sometimes they work beautifully in collaboration. You have an, intu an intuition about something and you're like, this speaks to this, this speaks to that. Oh, in history they did this, this is how I can move that conversation forward. It also helps when you study because you don't think you're the first one to do something. Just now it's been done a hundred years before you and even better 
<laughs> than you. Um, and I also believe in natural mentorship. You know, as soon as you start working and doing stuff, the right kind of people start to gravitate towards you. Like you start to form a community quite naturally and you learn a lot from the people who, who, who've done it before. Um, they're able to give you serious criticism. Sometimes it's like so painful, you can't sleep at night, but it's, it's necessary. You need to go to, through all those rigorous processes. Um, I think all of those elements are extremely important. There's shooting a nice shot and there's shooting a, a shot that's telling the story and it's important to know the difference. Um, so I think we can pick up on all those different things in different places. I've always, I've done uh, fine art since primary school, literally my whole life. Um, and I did go to study screenwriting. For me, that was, because it's a bedrock of storytelling, I think that's what I chose to go and study. And I studied it when I was already in the industry, already working. Some of my colleagues were like, why are you wasting your time? You're already doing the work. But for me, it was important to be able to push a certain boundary. I knew that I couldn't just do it purely from intuition. And that's my personal story. Hi, I'm Mabato Monsu. I'm your cover star for the March issue of Careers Magazine.